Hey guys, so I think we're uh, we're streaming right now. Hi, um, <clears throat> it's a beautiful Sunday, and I am hanging out with my son, um, making him some food, uh, some dinner, and I had this idea, and I want to share it with you. So this idea is on choosing leaders. More specifically, I want to start out with this. I will not allow you to lead me unless you're better than me, <clears throat> and that's the theme here. Choosing leaders that are better than you at a particular area and the privilege of the whether it's a when I say leader I mean like whether even if it's a teacher even a teacher the teacher student relationship is so amazing to me uh, because you're it's the privilege of a student to choose the teacher to accept the, te the teacher into their life and it's the privilege of the teacher to have the student uh, and accept the student into uh, his or her life so uh, on choosing leaders uh, you know there our world has this this uh, odd hierarchy about it that I, I think is is um, really outdated personally. Um, I, I don't think it'll last um, for many more generations. So um, <clears throat> I want to talk about today that, that idea of you have to be better than me to lead me. And I've lived my life like this um, for, for a very long time. And uh, it's it's brought me to some amazing experiences. And, um, and to know when you're good, you have to really be able to look into yourself and know what you're good at. Uh, and that in and of itself is a skill and and ask advice of others um, and to, to help refine what those things are. But once you get past that stage, then you start looking at and that stage in and of itself is actually continuous. So you never really get past it. But you essentially get to a place where you can really look at other people um, and you know, I call it objectively. <laughs> uh, you, you know, some might say it's subjective. Uh, but I think it's really, it's subjective if it's, if it's your ego, it's objective if it's intuition. And that's, uh, I think intuition is something very, very um, powerful that, that uh, connects all of us to something, um, uh, to a oneness. And when choosing your leaders, uh, I'll reference an experience that I had uh, with, with Josh Waitzkin, my, my Tai Chi coach. My father and I were training on the martial arts circuit. Uh, or we train, we competed on the martial arts circuit, um, and uh, we'll continue to do so in the coming years. Uh, <clears throat> but uh, many years ago, probably ten years ago, my dad and I were running around the city, at um, more than ten, and we would do push hands with people. Push hands is like uh, wrestling, sumo wrestling, or Greco-Roman wrestling, um, from a Tai Chi perspective, Tai Chi push hands, it's called, also known as Tui Show. And my dad and I were essentially some of the best guys in New York and some of the best guys in the city, uh, in the uh, nation. <clears throat> when Josh Waitzkin came by, uh, I was a, a senior at NYU, when he came by uh, our, uh, our Tai Chi push hands class, I was shooting a, my, my senior thesis film called Justice for Hire, uh, he came by when I wasn't there and essentially beat up the whole class. He, and my father called me, and I was on set, and uh, told me this, that somebody co had come by and <clears throat> beat all of the top students. And that blew my mind, because essentially, my dad and I, when we would encounter someone who had a skill that we found challenging, we would sit down, we would challenge that person, we would encounter that skill. If we were beaten by it in any way, if we were bested in any way, we would take time, uh, think about that skill, and come back with a solution. And normally that solution would work almost every time. I, actually, there's not a single time that that, did not, that that process did not work out for us. With Josh, it was totally different. And then we met his, uh, his, his uh, best friend and, and, and uh, the assistant coach, Dan Caulfield. So when we competed against Josh and Dan my, uh, in, <clears throat> in Florida, in the, the ICMAC, Chinese Martial Arts Championship, in 2004, um, we got our asses kicked. And... Not only that, we got invited back to the school because we made Josh and Dan move differently uh, in their martial arts movement, uh, in, in their competition, uh, because we had very particular skill sets that are pretty much uncommon in Tai Chi. Uh, when we got to their school under the invitation, we got the crap beaten out of us again, consistently. Um, then we got invited to join the team, and we got beat up for three months. <laughs> My point here is that Josh and Dan were definitively better than us. 
and the learning experience of allowing them into our lives and them allowing uh, us into their lives uh, <clears throat> took us light years, myself and my father, light years beyond where we were and helped Josh and the team uh, grow in new ways as well. And that to me is thematic for, for this whole video. We are essentially choosing, you have to choose your leaders wisely. Um, choose to follow. It's a privilege. It's a privilege to follow somebody. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to throw that idea out there. And, um, you know, I'm live streaming this, so I kind of feel like if I stop, um, that's kind of weird. But <clears throat> I think that, that uh, w you know, I'll, I'll add this onto, onto a business side. Uh, when I hire someone for a project, uh, when I'm doing a production, I look at, <clears throat> I look for leaders. I look for someone that has a, a skill set that I don't have. And, um, I mean, obviously it's necessary because you can't do everything yourself, but I look for leaders because I want to be led. I want a new perspective on, uh, or an enhanced perspective or a deepened understanding of whatever particular area of, of, of production, um, like I make movies or, uh, you know, comic books or, uh, music videos, etc. Um, <clears throat> when I do music, whatever it is that I'm doing, I want to work with experts. I want to work with the best because I want the best to guide me and I know what my strengths are and I come knowing those strengths, but very open to the guidance of, of experts in other areas. <clears throat> and in that sense, I feel like, and even when it comes down to working with people on a team and an employee, employer basis, I look at uh, you know, even potential employees in the same way. How can they lead me? So, when it comes down to this idea of hierarchy, uh, whether it's on a team, uh, you know, some people in the martial arts, for example, are um, are are guided under a belt system, which you know has its benefits, but also you know the pros and cons to everything. Um, I think that whatever status, if you have an intern, you know, like I, I've interned for companies and, uh, and, it, you know, it, it, the value I brought to the company to me was, was just as valuable as the learning I got, um, because of the type of, of, uh, you know, energy I would give them. So, um, I think it's very important to have a, a strong understanding of, of your, of your strengths and choose your leaders properly. Um, that will, if they're not better than you, don't, don't choose them. And, uh, you know, make sure you have to know, <laughs> know what you're good at to know, to know what you're not good at. And, um, you know, choose people that you can really, that you like, uh, ideally that you can see yourself working with for a long time. Um, even if you're going to work with them for a short time, because there's uh, really no need to work with people that, uh, that suck. Okay. Uh, that's Jan's rant for today. Oh, hey, you know what? Come back for more, too, because I'm essentially going to start doing this in a more formal way um, on this YouTube channel and on, um, a, you know, across all my, my, my social networks. So, like, on SoundCloud, you're going to start seeing regular um, new song posts. On YouTube, you're going to see more rants, more strategy, <clears throat> um, some new music videos, uh, not just from me as an artist, but actually stuff that I'm, I'm directing for other artists. Uh, some more martial arts stuff because I've, I've started my own uh, Tai Chi program in New York. And if you're in New York and you want to train, um, you know, hit me up. And, uh, <clears throat> you know, if you think you're good at push hands, give me a call. <laughs> I always love uh, training with, with great people. And um, thanks for watching and more soon. So please subscribe.